Pumas will once again feature in the group stages after missing out last year, while Dallas is making its first appearance. With momentum in their favor after winning both preliminary games, Shellis Hyman will be looking to continue Dallas's good fortunes. No MLS team has ever won in Mexico. Dallas hoping to make history. From the heights of Mexico City, it's the Group C curtain raiser between Pumas Unem and FC Dallas. And a very pleasant evening to you alongside former MLS veteran Brian Dunseth. My name is Mark Serban. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight as FC Dallas faces a huge test right off the bat in the group stage on the road, no less, against one of the early favorites to take the title in Pumas. Yeah, coming into Mexico City on a good run of form, Shellis Hyman will look for that emotional t intelligence he's always talking about. Mike Cohn Santos is cup tied. He will not be available from previous games played with Toronto FC. Good news, though, Fabian Castillo rejoins from the Colombian Under-20 World Cup team. Well, for FC Dallas, they're starting the group stage tonight, but this is not their first match in the CONCACAF Champions League. They had to go through the qualifiers. Yeah, preliminary round matchup against Alianza. Got the important one nothing win on the road. Breck Shea, Ugo Ehemelu just teaming up for this goal. And for the center back, he gets the only goal of the match. That puts FC Dallas through to Group C group stage on the 2 nothing aggregate win. Well, that's enough for FC Dallas to round out Group C as we take a look at the other two teams who will join Dallas and Pumas. And the first thing that jumps out at you, Brian, is there's two MLS teams in this group. Yeah, and you look at this four-team matchup, you got to think at least one team from Major League Soccer gets through. The question is, what kind of effect will Tauro from Panama have on this group? Very solid team, especially when they're playing in Panama. Well, it's the first match in Group C, and it comes to you from Mexico City. We're going to take a quick break, but coming up, it's Pumas and FC Dallas. Lineups and kickoff are next. Out wide to Elu Chans. Only two players forward, and Elu Chans will give it off to Ormeño. Gutierrez, all turns well, fires it, and it's the equalizer! A goal out of nowhere from the substitute, Roberto Gutierrez! The Estadio San Carlos erupts. The tie is back to 2-2 two to two on aggregate. Well, he puts it toward that back post, punched away by Yontop. Missed clearance from Pablo Vitti, but he's able to get to it. Good skill from Vitti. And here's that speed from Universitario. And it's opened up the space on the wing. This is Edison Flores. Has two players pouring forward. Gets it to the far side. This should be one touch for Ruiz. And it's the away goal for Universitario. It's the counterattack work to perfection. And all of a sudden, the Peruvians have a three to one aggregate lead. Salinas and Sabata make those runs through and the header in the goal. Opener for Morea in the 25th minute. And it is Sabat opening his account. How can you leave Morea's best scorer that wide open at the back post? Fox Deportes welcomes you to its English coverage of the 2012 Mexican Clausura. My name is Mark Server, it's a pleasure to be with you as Apertura champions Tigres are kicking off their title defense away to Cruz Azul at the Estadio Azul, a venue where Tigres has not won in over eight years and Cruz Azul are in possession right now. They are in the blue shirts attacking from left to right across your screen while Tigres in their traditional yellow jerseys are attacking from right to left. And Tigres winning the 2011 Apertura title, their first championship in 29 years. Well, Cruz Azul starting this season with illusions of winning their first title in over 14 years have not tasted victory at the top of the Mexican League since 1997, that the winner tournament. Now you can see the Tigres fans making the trip. They are known as the Libres y Locos, the free and the crazies. And they have made their way from Nuevo Leon to Mexico City to support the men who have the ball right now, Tigres in midfield. And played out wide to Torres, looking for Damian. 
And Damian Alvarez dispossessed and Cruz Azul will take over. This is Israel Castro. Mexican international gets it back to Jose De Jesus Corona. And 30 year old plays it out wide. One back by Lucas in midfield. 30 year old Argentine had 11 goals in 40 starts in 2011 and is named by many in the Mexican press as the best player in Mexico at the moment. A nice ball sprayed out wide by Christian Jimenez. And Cruz Azul getting numbers forward. And Christian Chaco Jimenez will switch the field of play. Over to Cortes. Cortes dispossessed, and here comes Tigres. A good job getting back by Javier Aquino. 21-year-old scored Cruz Azul's goal when these two teams last met in the Apertura. That was a 1-1 draw back on July 23rd. So you see Lobos upended, but it was a fair challenge coming in from Israel Castro. Tigres looking to go forward in the third minute. Good job to save that ball. Julio Dominguez gets it back to Javier Aquino. And Aquino looking for options, going the wrong way. And almost put his defense in an awkward position, but Corona will pick up. And then taking a look at Maranhão, the new signing from Bahia in Brazil became an internet sensation when playing in a Campeonato Brasileiro game, was trying to juke a player, fell over on his own and broke his arm. And a lot of the Mexican press having fun with it, but Enrique Meza defending his new signing, saying he brings great speed and quality and balance to the team. That last part though, you have to admit, is a little funny that Meza saying he brings balance to the team, but we'll give Maran Hao the benefit of the doubt. It can happen to anyone. It is cleared away by Enrique Palos for Tigres but only as far as the Cruz Azul defense. Picked right back up by Palos. Low pressure being applied by Cruz Azul. The two-man front line for Cruz Azul of Bravo and Villa, easily bypassed. Hugo Ayala. Good shape being kept by Cruz Azul, and they win the ball back. And this is Villa. Villa working his way in, goes down. No foul called, good challenge, but it will be a corner kick for Cruz Azul. First of the game, goes to the home side. Hugo Ayala did well to get back and make a crucial intervention. Emmanuel Tito Villa working his way in the box, wanted to shoot, and Ayala got back just at the last moment. Had to concede the corner kick. Christian Jimenez to take. Former Boca Junior man won two Copa Libertadores with that club in Argentina at the beginning of the last decade. That ball played in the near post. Allowed to bounce in the box. Tigres able to get it away. Will be a throne for Cruz Azul. 21-year-old Javier Aquino to take. Gets it back to Israel Castro. Castro joining in the Apertura after 10 years with Pumas. And Omar Bravo fighting for the ball. Pressure from Aquino, able to win it back, trying to get it back to Bravo. And that's a tremendous challenge. But Cruz Azul maintain possession. It'll be a free kick from a very dangerous position as Israel Castro brought to ground. Cruz Azul known as La Máquina Cemente because they were founded by members of a cement workers company. Right now trying to look like a fine-tuned machine, La Máquina. And they have a chance early on as this game is entering into the seventh minute. Their first genuine chance coming from the set piece. Four-man wall, plenty of Cruz Azul players in that Tigres wall trying to run interference. It's going to be Christian Chaco Jimenez. Oh, what a strike! That's the way to open up the new season. 
Spectacular free kick from Christian Chaco Jimenez. The Argentine picks up where he left off. Enrique Meza not forcing a smile, but he has to be happy with that. The Estadio Azul erupts. Enrique Paulos didn't even move. Just look at this ball knuckle. Perfectly placed into the corner with plenty of venom. Right over the wall, dipping at the perfect moment. Paulo saw it way too late. And Cruz Azul is off to the perfect start against the reigning champions. What now for Ricardo Ferretti and his men? What will the reply be from Tigres? Oh, and a poor goal kick. Corona might allow Tigres back in here. Good double team defending. And this is the goal scorer, Jimenez. And another mix up in the defense, but this time Cruz Azul able to take care of it. Can't allow their concentration to drop. The cliche is you're always most vulnerable right after scoring. And Omar Bravo is chasing. Bravo making his debut for Cruz Azul after joining from Sporting Kansas City where he had nine goals in 28 games and was also an MLS All-Star, but electing to go back to his home country.